Yes, everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is uh, this is Dave's podcast. I'm gonna call it like that. It's called Dave's podcast. I want to talk about a subject that uh, uh, this I haven't talked about this for a while, and uh, this led to be two couples gone missing. Well, not really two couples, but one of them went missing. Uh, she goes by the name of Susan. I'll put her name up there. The titling. Um, a, a husband and a wife. Well, it's the well, it's the wife. It's not the mistress. <laughs> it's not the mistress. Uh, I call it either the wife or the husband of the family. Um, and yes, yes, this lady. Uh, she's forty nine years. I gather on the information about her. Uh, Susan, who was forty nine years old, and she was a mother. Uh, whatever you call her, she's mother. Um, and uh, and uh, yeah. Uh, fiance, whatever, 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 folks. Um, but yeah, everybody thinks that she's the wife of the husband. So the wife of the husband, uh, let me give you great detail. Now, apparently Susan had a friend. This Susan knew her from when she was two years old. Uh, this is way back in the school days. Uh, this, uh, apparently this friend of hers uh, was on a live stream yes, last yesterday. Um, told about the information. The husband... Uh, that Susan uh, that uh, was plastered over YouTube videos, uh, that husband is now arrested. According to what we were hearing, heard yesterday, this is this is like developing, developing. Uh, I say new developments in this, uh, and uh, it, I, I thought for a while there, I thought it was like. Con uh, it was almost continuing until we get new developments on it, on uh, on uh, live stream videos that people would have. Um, so yeah, this lady called Susan. Uh, I forget her last name, uh, but but uh, the husband is apparently what we heard from the uh, information we got on the live streams was arrested. Apparently, Barry M Millil, Barry Millil, whatever his name is. Uh, yes, Barry, that guy. Uh, we see on the photos on YouTube videos, uh, he got arrested. Uh, apparently, what I've heard yesterday, he got arrested. I, uh, this is an unknown source from uh, Susan's friend. Um, uh, this is from the source. Uh, people say this is a source from from uh, the Susan's friend. One of Susan's friends uh, uh, relayed in new, as they say, new developing uh, information. And they call new <laughs> developing information is quite good. It's like breadcrumbs to anybody. Uh, new developings, uh, what led to her going missing? A mother of 49 years old went missing. She had two daughters. Um, the husband apparently got arrested. This is what we know from yesterday. Uh, Barry Mello, or his last name, I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, Barry Mello got arrested. Apparently there was other two other people. Now, we don't know their names. We're not going to give them out. But this husband got arrested. Uh, this was in Ohio, of all places. This was in the state somewhere in Ohio. Uh, this was a place, uh, I forget where it was, but yeah. Go in the Google Maps. You'll find out where this place is. Um, but yeah, they did a, it was, it was, to me, it just felt like it was continuing, uh, uh, uh investigation. It was ongoing. They sure should call it ongoing investigation. So it wasn't really, uh, someone missed it and they would do a search for the person and then they, uh, and then they, and all of a sudden it turns to be, um, really great, really great, great news. We found her and everything and everybody is kind of yay moment kind of thing. Um, uh, but no, it's not always happens that way. Sometimes it's uh, either the person is found and be alive, either the person is found and be dead. Um, so it can go be either way in the story. But uh, like I said, in Mother's Day, it was around the time of Mother's Day that this this mother of 49 years old of Susan uh, went missing. And that's what we led to believe in. Uh, YouTube went rampant on this on this story. Really ra went rampant on it. They kind of wrapped it up, as they say, <laughs> wrapped it up. All the uh, media outlets, Facebook, t uh, talked about it to YouTube. It was the photos were on there on YouTube videos and stuff. And uh, these were just two couples, two couples in love. But yeah, um, this mother of forty nine years old of Susan. But we did get the sources from Susan's best friend. Uh, that's right, Susan's best friend, unknown source. They don't call it unknown source. These are sources. Folks, this is the sources we, we gathered. Now, I don't know the fr best friends, Susan's best friend, but we do know this. 
that uh, apparently the husband is arrested. This is no joke. I'll put the, his name up there. A few videos yesterday talked about it, even today. Um, so <laughs> this was running rampant on social media. Facebook got, uh, got wind of this. Uh, YouTube got wind of this. And it was a big story. And it was from ho this per uh, woman got missing in Ohio. So, folks, that was, that was the ongoing story there. Uh, another person gone missing. This was like a few, I think it was a few weeks. I don't know how it went, <laughs> how it happened. This lady, I think, uh, Mason Bell, or her name is Mason Bell. I don't know, Matt, Madison Bell. I guess her name was Madison Bell. Anyway, uh, she was 18 years old. She was well, uh, as well as went missing. Now, uh, for as a lot of people were, uh, were aware of this, um, uh, this lady, um, on YouTube videos, she had, uh, she was, uh, she has a capability of doing psychic green about the person who went missing. She, uh, sometimes we all tap into her, uh, in her psyche. Well, they call it psyche. Anyway, uh, she, uh, went in great detail about the person, about the vehicle, about the, uh, uh, the person that she was in the vehicle with. Um, and this was really, really, so two people were um, oh, but missing in this time frame. This is like of uh, that two weeks of, uh, from the Mother's Day. Uh, two, uh, mother and a daughter went missing. Uh, the mother was 49 years old. The young lady, a young lady at age, uh, age 18 went missing as well. But they're not from the same family. They're not from the same family. <laughs> Let's get that straight. Let's really, really get out of the open on that. It's not from the same family. They're from different families, uh, uh, but I don't know what this ties into. It is the question, uh, but we do know this. Um, um, Matt, I think a Matt, Mace, or whatever that eighteen-year-old girl went missing. I don't know her name anyway. Anyway, uh, the boyfriend, the boyfriend of that girl went missing, and uh, yeah, so she went missing. She went in a vehicle that's white. California license plate. We're not going to give out the license plate numbers. We don't do that here. Um, but yeah, California license plate. The guy, who, uh, uh, the lady described uh, on the psychic reading, um, told that this guy wears wearing uh, running shoes. Just running shoes. I, I guess ordinary running shoes. I don't know. Um, anyway, so she went in great detail in describing this uh, person. Uh, uh, apparently, she said he, he was not a good guy. He was. You know, uh, be that as may, was not a very good guy. Anyway, he she felt it. Uh, she did. She did like a psychic greed about uh, th this girl who went missing. Um, and she said in the in the video, she said that she's still alive. This uh, young girl of eighteen years old. She, uh, she this was nineteen uh, hours ago. This was nineteen hours ago after the, when I saw the video. Um, so yeah. Uh, she was still alive. She said she was still alive at the time that she did the video. Um, she sensed that in her psychic breeding. Um, but yeah, some people do have this capability. They have a capability of doing this. They tap it in, as they say. They tap in into their psyche, get a psychic reading, and sometimes, sometimes they have this capability of doing it. And uh, that's great. That's great. That's an ability that people have. Some people do have this capability of doing it. Um, they have a talent. They call it the talent. Of doing this, and she uh, kind of—it's like it's like uh, it's like linking to everybody else. We're all communicating to all, all our human uh, fellow humans and around the world. And once our fellow humans go missing, we need to uh, get together and find this person, kind of thing. Um, whatever the person may be, maybe a man, a woman, a child, you name it. But yeah, people have this capability of doing psychic reading. They delve into their psyche and give a, a reading uh, uh, what they felt that needs to be out there, the information that needs to be out there. And uh, I would say to the people, I said, every little information does help, as they always say time and time again. Uh, doesn't matter if it's small or big. If it's really big uh, information, then we really, really have to uh, dig deep on this. And people are probably writing it down. On a piece of paper, <laughs> I'll take the Lee was saying, um, but yeah, yeah, but it was just like yeah, the guy had a California license plate. I won't tell you the number uh, number of the license plate. You have to figure out it was, you know, it's in that district. Uh, they call it dis uh, the district of California. So the guy in the vehicle had California license plate. Um, she said that the guy uh, that she went in the vehicle with was not a good guy, um, far as the information was concerned. Um, uh, but yeah, 
And so that led to that. Uh, so the people went missing. The other day, there was new developings on it. New developings. The, um, uh, like I said, uh, uh, previous on this thing. Uh, I said, uh, that, uh, yeah, the friend of Susan, this lady who's 49 years old, the mother of, you know, the husband, uh, her best friend, apparently her best friend told a little bit more information about it. Um, now apparently what we're going on from yesterday's uh, video that, uh, yeah, the husband was arrested. I said, wow, wow. I guess to me, I just came out with like a wow factor. As I, and I said to myself, is this really true? The actual husband is arrested. I mean, this is ridiculous. Anyway, I'll put the name out for both these couples. And uh, yeah, uh, I found a little information about the husband. Uh, he was a baseball big leaguer in the pro level um, in the early, early 80s. Um, I'll put his name on the titling. I'm not going to tell his name here, but I will put on the title of the, uh, of, under, of the subtitle of the, of the, the vlog video. Um, and yeah, yeah, so just two people in the world went missing, and I don't know if they did a search, but it was like, it was, <laughs> to me, it just sounds like it was ongoing investigation. Uh, it didn't, uh, you know, it wasn't like they were doing it negligently, kind of thing, if I were to say. Uh, they were just waiting for new developings on the story, and, uh, you know, it's just, it, it was like, it was like if you put a pot on a, on a stove, it's just simmering, it's just simmering, it's up to a point where it's just simmering, waiting for any new developings, uh, uh, coming out from the, uh, missing, two missing people. Uh, they usually don't do it right away when it's a big, huge investigation. They usually wait and wait and just, you know, it's like the Wayne game, they always say. It's the Wayne game until they get new developings. Um, from the, uh, it's all thanks, like I keep saying, folks, uh, when it comes to YouTube and Facebook, they really come together. They really come together as a community. They always say it really come together as a community on social media. They really help out with the investigation. And that's what they did in this one. Uh, this came in handy with this. And yeah, you <laughs> developed yesterday. You heard it on the live streams. This one lady uh, was do uh, doing a live stream about it. Uh, this was new developing, new uh, developing stories on these two people went missing. Uh, this was in the state side. This wasn't Canadian side of things. This was in the state side. One was from Ohio. Uh, I forget where it was in Ohio. The other one, uh, eighteen year old girl, uh, girl went missing as well. So that was in a. Uh, the past two weeks. I'm not trying to laugh at this, folks. This was really serious. I love on our husband. And, uh, yeah. Remember, these two couples were a couple. They were just a couple. They were, at the, they were married together, but they had... Sometimes in marriage, sometimes people have... I don't want to say it here, folks, but sometimes they... Um, you know, it's... Um, I don't want to say it for you guys out there. It might be a little sad for you people, but sometimes they get a disagreement and stuff like that. So, anyway... I'm going to put this video out. I was waiting, just waiting for a while to do this, and last night I was almost tired to do this, but I'm doing it today. Uh, I haven't put out a video yet on my YouTube channel, but I will on this one. Um, so, yeah, I gather all the information from two weeks since Mother's Day to really gather what... Uh, <laughs> it, it was... Uh, a person would miss it. This was really, really almost big news. It, uh, it went all through social media, YouTube, Facebook... And it really, really, really kind of, they always say ramp it up uh, on the news story. Yeah, it really did. It really did. It showed the photos of these two couples uh, on every, every YouTube video out there. So it was really, really getting the word out there. Um, uh, and just, like I said, folks, uh, it, it, the media did its job. From the Facebook, from the YouTube, people were uh, doing live streams about it. There were uh, little bits of information along the way. Uh, and to help out the investigation, sometimes it's really good <laughs> when you have people uh, doing new developings on it. It's always great to get new developings on a story like that. Um, it's always like breadcrumbs. I call it the breadcrumbs investigations. Uh, it's always going to be bits and pieces and news. Uh, some stories that people would have to, would uh, would ha ha would help out with the investigation, and that sometimes it's not always not always a big investigations and there's always little investigations. It's kind of simmers. It's like, it's like a, it's like an oven if you, uh, I mean, uh, on a, a pot. Sometimes it simmers a bit. It simmers a bit. It just waits until it gets new developings or wait till it gets really, you know. So it's like simmering. It's that simmer moment uh, until they get new developing news out of it. Um, 
so yeah, it did its job. Media did its job on the uh, the world that we live in in this kind of virus nineteen thing. Um, it did its job. The media really came, as they say, came forward and really shared information about. Uh, so yeah, now we're hearing that the husband is arrested from yesterday's uh, videos. Um, this is where we're going we're with sources. Now we don't know what sources they were going with, but the uh, the uh, Susan's friend told uh, a little bit of information about uh, the ongoings of it. Um, and uh, yeah, so folks, yes, I think I, I pretty much today. I think pretty much we know all. all uh, I think the, uh, my my sense on all this. I think it ends right now today. I think I think pretty much kind of wraps up. I think they uh, figured out who did it and what uh, what led to her, uh, you know, missing. Uh, I think uh, they said on uh, one of the people's videos, they said uh, they found a body. Uh, this is what they said on top of the screen. They found a body. Uh, this is uh, this is always great news when you find someone's body uh, when they went missing. Um, so, yeah, they found a body with a, a big screen said uh, on top of the screen. It says they found body near a home. Uh, and Yeah. So it's sad. It's sad. Uh, it's sad. Maybe you're thinking... Maybe the body's, uh, maybe the person's alive, maybe the person's dead, we don't know. So they're, uh, what they said on the screen, found body uh, at someone's house. So this is in Ohio, folks, in Ohio. It was an ongoing story since Mother's Day. Um, uh, so uh, the news media is not covered it yet, uh, but yeah, I think uh, just uh, live streamers yesterday came, uh, as they say, came forward and lend the information to it. And uh, yeah, so we... <laughs> Uh, yesterday, one lady was doing, uh, was trying to uh, do sources of the story. Uh, you know, trying to drag sources out of the people. So, yeah, it's, uh, no question about it. If it helps out, hey, that's great. If it doesn't, every little information does work out. Uh, I want to thank that psychic reader, uh, that woman psychic reader, uh, to help out with the thing. Because uh, people are probably jotting down uh, about uh, the... Uh, you know, the whole story about the whole thing. But anyway, I don't want to sound gruesome or sound sad about it. But I'm going to move on to this. For folks, it was a sad story. I think yesterday everybody just... Uh, I don't know if the investigation is ongoing, but uh, at the moment it is from yesterday's uh, live streams. Uh, but we got sources from Susan's best friend. Um, the far as we know from yesterday, uh, from on a live stream. Uh, forget the name of the person, but uh, they're probably saying thank you for a lot of live streamers on social media, uh, from YouTube, from Facebook. Um, so this is, uh, apparently 1,400 were watching that yesterday. 1,400 people were watching the live stream about this whole news story about the Susan lady who went missing from Mother's Day. Um, uh, we all thought at Mother's Day that this, she went for a, you know, bike ride and stuff like that, and that was pretty much it. Uh, but, yeah, but now we know that it wasn't the case, so we found out yesterday that the husband is, yeah, he's arrested. Par apparently, from the from the little information we gathered, from the source from Susan's friend, it was a sad moment, but, hey, what information they can give, that's great, that's wonderful, it helps out. So, um... Yeah, well, so I'll tell the uh, guy's name and the person's and the, you know, the wife's name on here. And, uh, yeah. So, there you go, folks. Um, it ends right now, folks. We are, uh, yeah, the investigation is over and we were happy yesterday what we heard. I, what I heard too as well. Uh, so, this was just like from Mother's Day. Two people went missing. Um, uh, mother of 49, uh, uh, young girl, 18 years old. So these are like uh, of adult age at this point. Um, their both names were plastered. I kid you not. On YouTube videos, uh, their names were <laughs> were were basically their their last their first name and the last name were shown on these videos on these uh, uh, on these live stream videos. Um, and uh, yeah, led to the uh, rest of the husband. Apparently, what we were hearing yesterday. Um, this is what I'm going with, what I he was hearing yesterday. Um, so yeah, that was a sad moment, but anyway, they did find a body, like this, uh, like the live streamer would say. Uh, it did say on the screen there, a body found, so that's... So folks, 
I'm going to end it now, but this is Dave's podcast, yours truly, Dave's podcast. I'm sorry to bring you bad, very bad news and everything, yeah. Um, yeah, so, yeah, it was, um, so it was just, uh, I just waited till, uh, knew the bell. I knew, a mo I knew that the mother went missing because they mentioned it in some of the YouTube videos. Um, and, uh, so, so, anyway, I kind of let it simmer, I let people would do what they need to do, the people, the right people do their investigations. Uh, so, anyway, so folks, when I'm getting this, just be careful these day, this day and age, you know, you just never know with these people these days. But yeah, two people went missing, I think they were found yesterday, uh, pretty much they were found. Uh, so this guy, Barry, the husband, uh, that's his name, Barry, uh, Mindelo, or his last name, Mindelo, I guess was his name, was arrested apparently, what we heard from yesterday, a source on that. I'm not telling you, I just heard it from a live stream, live stream people. Um, I'm not putting words in their mouth or anything, I just heard what I heard on live stream videos. Uh, so yeah, the husband was arrested, that's, I don't know if it's confirmed or denied kind of thing. Um, uh, or denied, but anyway, nonetheless, what I've heard through my only ears that I have, <laughs> You know, you know, appreciate if it ends well, it's good. If it doesn't, then it's a sad moment, folks. Um, you know, everybody gives the yay moment, the thumbs up, uh, you know. Uh, but it's uh, they always say it's a, if it's a happy ending, if it's a happy ending to the story of a missing person. Um, if they were found, and apparently the husband did what he did. He put out the reward and found it, they could find her wife and everything. Uh, they, he did the right thing to do that, put out the social media and went out there and just, you know, what he needed to do uh, to uh, get attention to it, and that he did. Um, he did, he did uh, the, the best way he could, under, under circumstances, because his wife went missing. Uh, but yeah, uh, but yeah, uh, that's, that's where she, that's where she is, a lot of people would say, the uh, uh, the right thing to do, you know, put out the award money, and hopefully they would find the person who's gone missing. I mean that, folks. Um, it was it was a tough call for the husband to do that. Really, it was. Um, and uh, I can understand from the husband's standpoint that's a tough call. And you put you put a you know you put a because uh, um, his wife went missing. I think uh, mistress. Uh, I guess they all think it's a mistress, but I think it's the wife. I think it's the way to win this <laughs> No matter what, uh, uh, people like to label these people. But anyway, I, I thought it said couples. So I'm assuming these were uh, husband and wife. So they've been around this world for many, many years. I'm assuming in terms of age. Um, so anyway, we don't like to hear people going miss. That, that we don't want to hear. Uh, but when it happens, we kind of rally around the troops, as they say on social media, and try to get, bit, uh, you know... <laughs> A little bits of information what led to the person going missing kind of thing. Um, and we, we kind of, you know, we ran around the troops. It was like, it's like you're in the army. It's like if you're in the Navy, you ran around the troops. It's sort of like that. But in the social media genre world, you got to, every information does count, folks. Especially if you're a psychic reader, a psychic medium. Uh, if you can figure out if the person, you know, we all like to communicate. Our head, our brain, we like to be... We like to communicate to the loved ones out there uh, with psychic reading and try to get a sense of, you know, sometimes you got to dig deep in your mind. Say, so, okay, you sense this, and I think, and you'll get a sense of it, and then you get a psychic reading over it. Um, and, and, yeah, we're all, we're all capable of doing this thing. It's just we have to tap into that sort of thing, as people would say. Um but yeah, every information just <laughs> this lady. I think everybody was trying to jot down the information. I mean, uh, this was a lady who uh, lender, as they say, lender her service uh, on this one, um, and she did a good job. People are probably uh, jotting it down on a notepad <laughs> about the information, <laughs> and probably with social media these days, probably linked it. Um, but anyway, yeah. So, folks, there you go, folks. I will put the name of these two people went missing, but. They're not missing now, they were found. But the body was found, uh, one of them people. But anyway, uh, so there you go, folks. And uh, I'm going to end it there for uh, Dave's podcast. Hope you enjoyed this. I surely did 24 hour hours later. 